welcome to another community conversation. I'm thrilled today to be joined by Paul LeBlanc, the president of Southern New Hampshire University, someone who is well known across the world, someone who has been active in the Educause community. Paul, I remember the series of articles you wrote uh, a few years back for Educause Review. Uh, it was widely read and very influential, by which I mean to me. So I'm excited to have you here to talk about your new book, Students First. So welcome, Paul. Um, John, thank you so much for having me. It's really good to see you. I wish it was in person, of course. So students are in the center of, of your book, as I say, page to page. Um, the faculty are in, in your book as well. And I think, I think you're saying that um, higher education is not going to be able to transform the lives of the students you're talking about without a structural change in how we measure and conceive of learning um, broken from the old notion of time. I think there's also an underlying sense that um, we also need to reconsider pedagogy itself and andragogy, how we teach and how, how subjects are taught. Is, is that true from your perspective? Yeah, I, that's right. And I think, so I'm very careful in the book to say that I'm not making an argument for any particular pedagogical approach. I think competency-based education is an architectural question, it is not a pedagogical question. When we talk about CB, which is so central to my argument, it's really asking two things. What are the claims you make for what students can do with what they know? So think about that, it's a performative question. What can they do with what they've learned from you? And then it's ask us, there's a second question, which is how do you know? What is, how do you assess that? So now to go to your question, I think when we shift the focus from, what students will know and we will presume or infer what they can do with it. That's kind of historically where we've been. We're shifting the spotlight over and we're saying, no, we actually want to make claims for what students can do and we'll infer or presume what they've had to learn along the way in order to do that. So it's a bit of a shifting in the weight, if you will. But if you do that, then as a faculty member, and I think about my pedagogy, it's going to steer me to things like project-based learning hands-on learning, real-world learning. And that's going to, in turn, steer me to assessments that aren't about getting the right answer, because getting the right answer isn't about performance, right? It's about, do I understand how to do something? Can I demonstrate my ability to do a thing? And, and that's really the rich ground of assessment. And it's honestly the place where we probably lag furthest behind. 